Hi guys, you've obviously been lucky enough to stumble across this week's plumbing videos and photos. Before we begin, I'd like to ask any of you who haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our videos and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Those links that have appeared in that card just now are available throughout the whole video. Anyway, see you soon guys, and remember... What, what was that? <laughs> no, should we do it again? Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice. Hold tight and welcome to today's Plumber Parts of Coding UK video, Plumbing Disasters. All those photos and videos that you guys have sent over to us in the last few weeks, I'm gonna say now that these photos, are the cutoff for these was the 4th of February, purely because we've got a couple of courses to do and we're not gonna have much time to have a look over them. But don't worry, in the next Plumbing Disasters video we'll do, we'll look back to the 4th of February and we'll still be tweeting all your photos and videos anyway throughout that time and they'll probably get added on the list then. So whatever you do, keep sending your photos and your videos in. They will get shared, they will get scrubs from Plumber Parts and they will get lots of love. Anyway, first heads up I want to give you before we ever look into the plumbing thing is something that you guys are going to love to know about. Drayton need you lot, the plumbers, the people. There's a link appearing in the cards right now, somewhere or other. Click on that link and that's also going to be visible throughout the whole video and at the end as well. 500 pounds worth of Drayton products, so it's well worth doing guys. Even if it isn't for your own house, you can still sell them onto your customers. And also, as you probably realize, I actually really like their new controls as well. And we've got a video coming out pretty soon just swapping over a couple of old controls and diluting all those old controls into one My Genie product. So please click on that and have a look there. And anyway, without further ado, let's have a quick look at this week's Plumbing Disasters videos and photos. Hold tight! So we're starting stuff off really dangerous this week. Aaron Castell. Castell, is that you say your name, Aaron? Aaron Castell. Sent us through this photo here. Look at that PRV there, it's got a valve on it. So, why is it wrong? Well, I tell you, it's supposed to go outside that pipe and there's not supposed to be any valves or anything like that on it. You know that, God. Adam Waring sent us through another picture that's gonna go to the uh, Save the Drain Offs Fund. I'm definitely gonna do a spoof advert for that soon in the uh, same sort of vein as, um, I don't know, Save the Children or something like that. And Alan Whittam as well, look how sad this drain off is. Horrible. And then we start the marathon run of photos sent in by Alan Goldsmith. Obviously, the people here did not need a door. One of my favourites as well from Al this time round. One of the favourites of a lot of you actually. This got a lot of love on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and it's great to see as well. I'm really, really pleased you all enjoyed it. For a second, you sort of look at it and think, what, what is that? And even someone said, I think you found the dead cat under the floorboards. <laughs> but there you go. No, brilliant photo. Thanks for sending that in, mate. Al carries on. And in fact, it reminds me that someone's asked us to do a video on how to work work on chrome pipe. That's on the list, all right? That's on the list. So we haven't forgotten about it and we will be doing that in the next few weeks. Hey, Chris Lifford got his plumberparts.co.uk sticker. Oh, Chris, well done, mate. Good stuff. Yeah, Dave Anderson likes this motorbike. He loves the look of it. But what's that in the background, Dave? Someone's nicked or deliberately removed the gas meter. Who's up for some free gas? I am. Is that motorbike a gas gas? David Plumley found possibly the worst ever cold water incoming main I've ever seen. And then some of you also noticed to the left hand side that terrible bit of condensate pipe as well that's been lovingly caged in. Gaza Lee Crefield. Jack Spencer sent this one in as well. Obviously his customers don't give a damn about pressure relief valve pipes uh, and they just squash theirs up against the door. But who fit in there in the first place, Jack? That's the question I want to know. And James Captain Cook came in here with a lovely Gainsborough shower. Let's hope that whatever shower you ever have isn't so splash aroundy, especially if there's two of you in there, that you get water on the top part of that shower thing because you might all get burnt to death by electrical flames. And then Josh Hibbert sent this one through. Someone obviously thought they could fix the gas pipe with uh, electrical tape. Great shout. I'm sure gas safe back you all the way. Not. Kevin Melville sent this one through. Uh, I particularly love this. It's one of those evil F&E tanks, but look what the hell is it balancing on? boxes, bits and bobs, whatever. How the hell has that never fallen down? Now you imagine that, it's probably about, I don't know, five gallons of water there. Oh, Liam Mitchell, another one, another person stolen their gas meter. Now, Mark Gray, there's a few things I like about this photo. Number one, obviously the layout of the bathroom is just dreadful. It's the sort of thing you get in some weird Scottish castle or something like that when you're in a bed and breakfast. But also what I really like is, and this is particularly good for men, the way that they've tapered the tiles down to run into the toilet. So if you're incredibly drunky wonk and you get your wee-wees all over the tiley wiles, they're gonna run into the toilety wallet. Uh, where's the tank? Where's the uh, cylinder? Anyone see it? Oh, 
There it is, right up there. Who put it up there, eh? Thanks, Mark Bronson, for sending us that photo through. Cheers, matey. And then Nick Percy sent us through a photo of some lovely pipe work. Exposed, beautiful. Some people just don't care. There's only one way you can change over, in my opinion, from a concealed valve to an exposed bar valve or a mixer shower like the one you've got here. What you do, you go to your local metal lot. I've got a metal firm I work for. You get them to make up a piece of metal about 30 centimetres by 15 centimetres, sheet brush stainless steel, okay? Then you get them to cut the whole centres in that as well, and then you mount everything on top of that. It works perfectly every time. It looks really good. So for all of you guys, that's how I do it, okay? Paul Pryor's found himself a throne. Philip Holt found a plumber who was thinking out of the box, or literally out of the cubicle, when it came to this plumbing. <laughs> That's awful. Ah, Roman sent through this little beast. Spot that? You see it? Oh yeah! And then Ronnie Gottschlinger sent us through a picture of the pressure relief valve pipe that someone's just drilled into the side of the four inch stink pipe and then just massed it up. Great plumbing work indeed. You go home and say to your wife, your girlfriend, your horse, your zebra, your squirrel collection, Look at the work I did today on your phone. Isn't that brilliant? I'm just thinking, I'm designing a house. I've got the stairs going up to the landing and then going round the corner back to serve the rooms. Above the stairs, I've got the airing cupboard. So I can either have the door opening onto the landing so it's easy to get at, or, I mean, a really easy place to put it would be have it over the actual drop of the stairs. So that's exactly what I did. And then Cy Rai went to do some work there and found out that that's what it looked like. <laughs> Some lovely safe gas work as well, found by Steve Bushnell. Always good to see that people are used to using Flexi, even if it's on a Friday, and also that they don't care about the lives and, and pretty much the inevitable death eventually through explosion of the gas pipe. Steve Cullen found someone who tried to make their own vertical radiator. Nice try, mate, but it still looks awful. Ha! Ah! Oh yeah, Tommy Ivor. Oh, mate, that's some awful plumbing there, mate. Cheers for the photo though, bruv. Heads up to you. Yeah. Actually, what 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 is going on there? I'm looking at that, they've got the hose going to a secondary return. I can't quite figure that one out. <laughs> Looks like Simon Harding tried to turn the water off at his work. Ah, Josh tap in. We all know spiders love to live inside those little floor recess gas meters. Just to the gas meter, and literally this is my nightmare. How much of a oh Where's the big one? Johnny Gray sent us through this one here. Uh, these pipes, um, obviously the guy was just running out of life. Maybe he was having a heart attack. He was like, whatever happens, before I go to hospital to have you know triple heart bypass surgery, I'm going to finish off this pipe work here, okay? I'm that good a plumber. Tom Parker sent us through a lovely photo as well. Someone Flexi Friday, the pressure relief pipe up. Alan Goldsmith sent us through a photo that makes me want to go <laughs> dance like an Egyptian. Don't get by, get bry sent us through a picture of somebody who went to Costco to get the toilet roll. Either that or they had to take the Movi Prep preparatory fluid that I had to take before I had my colonoscopy. Let me just give you the lowdown on that, right? If you've never had a colonoscopy before, if it's something you look forward to, it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be. In fact, I quite enjoyed it. Um, it's one of the f best things I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't do what I did the day before and eat a massive lamb roast dinner, okay? Because all that came rushing out at about a million miles an hour about 12 hours later. The next thing I want to say is whatever you do when you go for your colonoscopy, definitely be sedated, okay? Not because the actual thing's that bad. I mean, when they're pushing it around, they had to get around to my appendix, which means they had to go around through all of my four inch mane. When I laid there and they said, we're just putting the sedation in now, it went in and I must say, it felt so good. It was brilliant. I just was like, just laid there, head just lightly touched the pillow like a feather. And then he rammed his camera straight up my bottom. Anyway, on with the pictures. At Stu underscore Adams wants to remind everyone as well that a stopcock is for life, not just for Christmas. At Oscar G Buzz, he wants to show us this. I mean, look, no one's died. This looks awful. Uh, and Nathan Dyer sent us through a personal favorite. Someone's ripped out the bath, but you know, the taps are gonna stay, whatever happens. He obviously loved them taps. He was like, Sue, I'm not going to move those taps for anything. Okay, we're just gonna put in a shower in there. That's American, by the way. Anyway, guys, we've nearly hit the end. I mean, I know it's been a bit of a quick video because we've obviously what I said at the start of the video, uh, but we've got Gas Man, Mr. Lyons, Gas Man Tamworth, Richard Lyons, sent us through this video of a brand new shower that you fitted 
and obviously the cast for the shower head had got a tiny little pinhole in it and it went spraying up into the air. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. Remember to subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm sorry Mr G hasn't been on today, it's absolutely tipping it down out there at the moment. And he was upstairs on the bed, I was like mate, there's no way I can leave him. You know when you go upstairs and your cat is just properly chilled out? I was like, I can't, I can't budge him, poor old beast. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe. We will be back with more plumbing advice. Uh, there's some huge, big redevelopments coming up with Plumber Parts soon, and it's going to involve all of you. And we want all of you to be involved in it. We've got some great, really exciting stuff coming up. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. And remember everyone, to hold tap. Plumberparts.co.uk, honest reviews and advice.